Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to crochet the flower meadow shawl that you can find as a free pattern on my website. This shawl is a triangle shaped shawl, very easy to make. The main body of the shawl is with a beginner friendly single crochet and chain, which is the moss stitch. It's also known as the woven stitch or also the linen stitch as well. The flowers are actually crocheted directly into your shawl, so there's no sewing required for this pattern. For your supplies, all you're going to need is two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver Ombre Yarn. I used Green Apple for my pattern and will be using it for the tutorial today. I also used two skeins of Unforgettable Waves by Red Heart. You can also use uh, any of the Unforgettable line. For the tutorial and for my pattern, I used the Colorway Parade. You will also need a size J or a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook as well. Let's go ahead and get started. For row one, we're going to go ahead and start with a magic circle. And chain one. And now I'm going to work one single crochet, chain two, and one single crochet in that magic circle. I'm going to pull that end tightly to close the circle. And now I'm going to chain one and turn for row two. For row two, single crochet in the first stitch, which is the base of that chain one. So at the top of that last single crochet that I worked, work a single crochet, chain one, then work a single crochet, chain two, a single crochet in that chain two space. And that chain two space is my corner space here and throughout the remainder of the pattern. So in that chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. Chain one and single crochet in the last stitch. At the end of row two, we're going to chain one and turn for row three. Single crochet, again, the base of that chain one in that same stitch. Chain one, single crochet, and chain one in that chain one space. Single crochet, chain one. Now we're at that chain two corner space. I'm going to repeat those same steps of single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in that chain two. Chain one, work a single crochet and a chain one in that chain one space from the previous row. And then work a single crochet in that last stitch. Chain one and turn for row four. For row four, we're going to single crochet again at the base of that chain one in that same stitch and chain one. In that next chain one space from the previous row, I'm going to work a single crochet, chain one. In the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one. I'm now at the chain two corner space and repeat single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one. In the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one. In the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one, and single crochet in the last stitch. So row four is our pattern repeat. To work through each of these rows, you'll chain one, turn, single crochet in that first stitch, chain one. Then in every chain one space, 
until we get to that chain two corner space, you're going to work a single crochet and chain one in each of those chain one spaces from the previous row. When we get to the chain two corner space, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, and then in each chain one space to the end, we will again work a single crochet and chain one and when we get to that final stitch, we will work a single crochet. Very simple. Each of your rows stitch counts will increase by two stitches for every row, so that will help keep you on track as well. So for rows five through 74, you're going to be repeating row four. If you'd like to make your scarf larger than mine, you will need to repeat more rows of row four before you begin working the section that will get you your flower. So you're going to repeat to the desired size row four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work one more row of repeat for you. So when we get to end of row four, we're going to chain one and turn. Single crochet in that first stitch chain one, chain one space from that previous row, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one in the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one in the next chain one space, in the chain two space, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, and then in each of these chain one spaces, work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that last stitch. So continue repeating row four through row 74, and then we will begin working our flower section. Once you've completed row 74, we're going to get ready to work on our flower centers. And row 75 is basically just working a row of single crochet without the chains. And you can see here, I've obviously not worked through row 74, but the concept is going to be the same. For row 75, we're just going to chain one and turn, and now we're just going to work a single crochet in every stitch, starting out with that first stitch, the base of that chain one, and then working a single crochet in the chain one spaces and every stitch until we get to that chain two corner space. So you're just going to work a single crochet in every chain one space and in every stitch. When we get to the chain two corner space, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then continue on working a single crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space to the end of the row. So I've completed row 75, the base of my flower centers, and I'm going to turn, chain one and turn, for row 76 for our flower centers. And to begin, I'm going to work a single crochet in that first stitch, and a single crochet in the next four stitches. And now I'm going to work a flower center in the next stitch. Flower centers begin their first row by working the back and the front loops separately. So I'm going to be working some stitches into the back loop only, and then I will be working stitches into the front loop only. So to start with our flower center, we're going to insert our hook around that back loop only and place four single crochets in that back loop. And you can uh, put a stitch marker into that first stitch to keep track of it if you wish. Now, we're going to just rotate slightly 
to make it easier to work into that front loop. And you see that unused front loop here. I'm going to be working four single crochets into that front loop. With a total of eight single crochets, I finished that first round of my flower center. I'm going to slip stitch to that first stitch where my stitch marker is, but I'm going to slip stitch into the back loop only. Chain one, and then work two single crochets into that same back loop. Place the stitch marker into your first stitch and now work two single crochets into the back loop of each of those eight stitches. So you'll end up with a total of 16 single crochets at the end of this round, all worked in the back loop. Once you've completed your 16 single crochet stitches, we're going to slip stitch in the back loop of the first stitch from round two. And now we're going to slip stitch in the back loop of the next eight stitches of the flower center. And what that does is it gets us back to where we're going to be working in our row. So we wanted to get back over here to this side of our center to begin working again in our row. And we will be working a single crochet stitch in that very next stitch next to the flower center. So you're gonna to want to lift up that flower center to see and find the next stitch. So work a single crochet in that next stitch. And you can see that my flower center lies flat and I'm able to work in my row and it anchors that flower center to my scarf as well. And now I'm going to single crochet in the next 10 stitches. and I'm going to work a flower center into that next stitch. So I'm going to be repeating the same steps from that previous flower center into that next stitch. back to our main row. Pull that center aside so you can find your next stitch and you'll single crochet in the next 11 stitches. And you're going to be repeating that same sequence until you get to your chain two corner space. And of course, I'm not, my shawl is not 
as big as what yours would be, so I won't have as many till we get to the chain two corner space. So I'm just going to single crochet through until we get to that chain two corner space. But you would repeat working 11 single crochet stitches between your flower centers. When you get to your chain two corner space, you're going to be working another flower center and we're going to be working it into that chain two space. But we're going to be working into one of the chains, that second chain. We're going to be working that those same steps, the same flower center, but I'm going to be using the back loop of a chain and then the front loop of that chain, working those same steps of four single crochets in the front or the back loop and then turning slightly and we're going to work four single crochets in that front loop of that chain. and then repeat round two. Then we're going to repeat those steps. You're going to pull back that center and you're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch and then in the next 10 stitches. So you're going to repeat those steps down the remainder of the other side of your shawl. You'll work a total of 11 single crochets, work another flower center, 11 single crochets, another flower center, until you get to the last five stitches of the row and you'll single crochet in the last five stitches. So when we get ready to work on our flower petals, we're going to be taking our unforgettable yarn, our colorful yarn that we're gonna be using for our flowers and we're going to be attaching it to those flower centers that we just made. And we're going to be using those unused front loops to make this stitch. So I'm going to attach my yarn to any unused front loop of any stitch of round one of my flower center. So you can see these loops here. These are those unused front loops of that first round. Any of those. And you're just going to attach to any of those unused front loops with a slip stitch. Then you'll chain three, one, two, and three, and then you're going to slip stitch to the next front loop of the next stitch all the way around. You'll have eight front loops to work into. Chain three, slip stitch into the next front loop, chain three. We're going to do that all the way around, hitting all of those unused front loops. Once you've worked in all of those unused front loops from that first round, you're going to slip stitch to that first stitch, chain three. And now you're going to be working in the next round, the front loops as well, of round two of your flower center. So you're gonna come back here and pick up the front loop, slip stitch, and chain three. Pick up the next unused loop, chain three. The next front loop, of the next stitch, slip stitch, chain three. And so you're gonna be working through the front loops of all 16 stitches for round two of your flower center. Once you've worked in all 16 stitches, you're going to now work another round, repeating the same stitches, working in the back loops of that same round. So chaining three, and then picking up the back loop of that same stitch that we just worked in the front loop. 
Some of these will be a little more difficult because we worked a slip stitch into them. Once you've worked in the back loops of that flower center, you can now fasten off. And you can repeat those same steps for all of your flower centers for your shawl. Once we've completed our flower petals and our flower centers, we're ready to move on to row 77. We're going to chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet in each stitch until we get to that flower center. And basically I'm working a single crochet in every stitch of the previous round. But where we have to be careful is this counts as a stitch. I worked this on the center in a stitch. So I need to account for that when I'm working these single crochet stitches for this row. I need to make sure that I'm working a stitch, an extra stitch, uh, so I can maintain my stitch count. So at the end of that row, I had worked five single crochet stitches after that flower center, so I want to make sure that there's five, and now I need to work another stitch. And this is kind of up to you as to where you want to place it. You could uh, place one, this is what I generally do, there's a little bar down here that I like to add a stitch to, or you could put two single crochets over on this side of your flower center. But just make sure that you're accounting, as you're working through this row of single crochets, that you're accounting for that flower center that you made for that previous row. So just work through this whole row with a single crochet for every stitch. So when we get to that flower center that we worked into that chain two corner space, when I get to that flower center, I'm going to chain two, skip over that flower center, and then start working single crochet stitches after that flower center on the other side. And so now I can work into that chain two corner space for my next row. Continue working your single crochet stitches just as we did all the way through the rest of this row. So we're ready to move on to row 78. I'm going to chain one and turn. And this row is going to get me back to working my moss stitch for the remainder of the main body of the scarf. And once we've chained one, we're going to single crochet in that same stitch, chain one, and single crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, work a single crochet in the next, chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Repeat that sequence until we get to our chain two corner space. When I get to that chain two space, I'm going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet into that space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next and then repeat that sequence. Skip one, single crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next, and repeat that on down this row. When we get to the end of the row, we're going to chain one, skip one, and in the last stitch, work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and turn for the next row. And now I'm repeating row four again. Single crochet in that same stitch, chain one, single crochet in that chain one space, chain one, 
single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, single crochet in the next, chain one space, and continue that row four. And we're going to be repeating row four through row 81. And when we're done with row 81, we're ready to work on our border. So continue on in that same stitch sequence. Two. So for row 82, I'm going to change to color B at the end of that row and I'm going to turn. Chain four. And I'm going to work a single crochet in that same stitch. And that chain four at the beginning counts as my single crochet and chain two um, at that beginning there. Now, in every chain one space, I'm going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So in this next chain one space, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, in the next chain one space, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, next chain one space, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and I'm going to continue repeating that to my chain two corner space. When you get to that chain two corner space, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in that chain two corner space, and then repeat that same sequence through the end of your row, working a single crochet, chain two, in every chain one space through the end. When you're finished, then you're ready to fasten off and weave in all of your ends. Thanks so much for joining me everyone. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a new video. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Reach out to me via email at nanascraftyhome at gmail.com. I love to see your projects. Remember to hashtag nanascraftyhome so that I can find your beautiful projects on social media. Take care everyone. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.